For the 32nd year, Fall for Greenville will offer up tastes, sights, and sounds of just about everything this city has to offer. Whether you've just arrived in Greenville. We're relatively new to town ourselves. Only being open for three months now. Or have been here for a while. Two Chefs has been on Main Street for 16 years. For the past nine years. When the weather cools down. Is a route like it gets hot. And autumn begins. It's time for Fall for Greenville. It's um, a taste of our town. So we'll have 42 different restaurants um, throughout the weekend showcasing just a sampling of their food. Get to meet a lot of new people, get new clientele, and overall it's just fun. Stuff that you probably just normally wouldn't walk into at a restaurant and eat. You can just kind of get a bite and check it out, see how it tastes. But it's not just food. Well, the music's really good. Five different musical entertainment stages. 50 bands playing over three days. And local breweries. Pour some beer this weekend, yeah. Don Richardson opened Quest Brewing this summer. This is going to be the, the biggest exposure we've had here in Greenville. He'll be featuring his specialty. We, uh, we came up with a Saison recipe that we uh, add pumpkin during the mash and then spices at the end of the boils. The festival is big. Uh, there's usually a lot of people. Not only the largest in Greenville, but one of the largest in the southeast. As in, the city's population more than doubles. About 150,000 plus people over the three-day event. And the best part is an opportunity for us as a food vendor to give back to the city. It's all for a good cause. This year we've selected seven charities that will receive proceeds from the festival. You can do just about anything. You can walk up and down and look and smell and... Except one. You can't taste for free. But that part is what the whole weekend is all about. The festival just kicked off a few hours ago, and if the weather stays this beautiful, it could draw one of the biggest crowds the festival's ever seen. Reporting in downtown Greenville, I'm Evan Donovan, News 13.